Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video I'm going to be talking about how to back up your Ethereum wallet and also how to uh, import that wallet onto another computer. This is great if you're going to be moving computers or want to have your wallet on multiple, multiple different computers at the same time so you have easy access to it. And at the same time, also just have the peace of mind in case your computer goes down so you don't lose all the uh, Ether tokens that you have. Uh, before we jump to that real quick, you might notice that I'm in a little bit different environment. Uh, the house I was living in uh, was going up for sale, uh, so I had to find a new place to rent. Uh, so that's why I'm in a different area, so I uh, don't mind the mess. I'm still setting up uh, my area, but I have needed to make another video because it's been a while so i decided to go ahead and jump on and make this video because it is fairly simple to make but it is an important topic to talk about and make sure that you have done uh, at least one backup of your wallet so without further delay let's go ahead and get on to it All right, so you can see that I have my Ethereum wallet pulled up and we're ready to start the backup process. This is a super simple process. They've done a really good job on the user interface making it super simple, but I did decide to make this video just to kind of give you a complete walkthrough and kind of give you a little behind the scenes information of what's kind of going on. So there should be no confusion at all when you're kind of backing this up. And this is something that's super important so that you don't lose access to your account uh, which would mean that you'll lose any uh, associated ether. Uh, and if you are mining, uh, like I am on my game machine, I haven't reached my payout method yet. So technically all my ether is still in the pool data right now. So at th this point in time, it's linked to my uh, account that I had given it when I started mining. So if I did lose access to that mining account, even though I was still mining and I haven't cashed out yet, I would not be able to kind of change which address that's going to. So I would be kind of stuck without all that you know, all the time I had spent and, you know, energy I'd put into mining, I would kind of completely lose out on that. So it is very important to back up your accounts. So what we're going to do here is click on this account tab up here and you'll see an option to back up. There's two options in here. One's for accounts, of course, and one's for application data. I have not done that. And I don't know what the benefits of doing that are. So I'm just going to kind of skip over that and just focus on the accounts for right now. Clicking on that, you'll see it brings up two folders with the key store folder highlighted, indicating that's the folder we're wanting to be focused on. So what we're going to do here is right click on this key store folder and hit send to, send to compress zip folder. So now we have the zip file that has all the data within that key store. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to that real quick just to kind of give you some behind the scenes information, and some knowledge of what exactly we're going to be doing in this process. So inside of this key store folder, there should be a, a file that correlates to every account that you have over inside your wallet. So if you had five accounts inside your wallet, you should have five files here. So by backing up that whole folder, by making a zip file of it, we have backed up all the files inside there in one, a single blow and have that ready to transfer to another computer. Uh, there's also a geth file up here that is quite large. You can see we're with the hover over data that's 45.8 gigabytes. So it is a quite large file. Um, but that has all the chain data for the Ethereum network. Um, I haven't explored this yet, but theoretically you might be able to copy that over to a new machine if you're setting up an Ethereum wall on a second machine and skip the huge synchronization uh, time if you have a slower network. Um, if there is someone out there that's wanting to do that and wants me to do a little bit of experimentation, I would be willing to do that. So just leave a comment in the description below and I will check that out. Uh, but for right now, we're focusing on just backing up this account data. So we now have this zip file that has all of our accounts in it. Uh, what you're going to do now for part two is copy this to your second machine. Uh, so if you're just using it on local, you can just throw it on a flash drive. Uh, but if you're throwing this on the, you know, synchronizing over the internet, I would recommend possibly encrypting this uh, just to protect your data. There's lots of different options out there for encrypting like your OneDrive and Dropbox files. So I would recommend looking into those. And if you are interested, once again, I will kind of show off a couple of those in a future video if anyone is interested uh, to kind of give you a little bit of background or in more in-depth knowledge of what some of the options that are out there. So one way or another, get this moved over to your second machine and we'll pick up at part two on the second machine. All right, so I have my second Ethereum wallet pulled up on my other computer and I'm now ready to start the import process, which is equally just as simple as the backup process. Now, if you're just transferring these over on a USB drive, you wouldn't necessarily need to create a zip file, 
But if you're transferring over the internet, the zip file does make it simple because there's only one file instead of, you know, numerous files equal to the number of accounts you have, of course. Uh, so what we're going to do is you can see the zip file on my desktop. We're just going to right click on that. And we're going to extract uh, all these files. So what we're doing now is extracting everything that we compressed earlier. Uh, so you can have access to those uh, files once again that we that were in the zip file. So we're going to go ahead and open that file uh, so we can see that. And we're going to go ahead and just drag this uh, over to the side because we will still need this. So you can see once again that we have all the files equal to the number of accounts that you had in the backup. Uh, and now we're going to go to accounts and we're going to click on that import button we saw earlier in uh, the first part of this video. So click on the import uh, box and it'll bring up a dialogue with a uh, big blue box eventually when it pops up. Uh, that says drop wallet files. You can see here. All you have to do is drag that uh, account file from the account that you from the computer you just backed up, and just drag that to the the blue square, and it'll now go through the process of importing. You can now see that account three has popped up in my account, and I've completely or completed the successfully completed the process of backing up from one computer and copying that account to my second computer. Uh, let's go ahead and transfer back to the first computer. So you can see that that account is still here. It's still accessible here. I can still use it here. I can still see how much ether is in it, which is a big fat zero. <laughs> but uh, you can also see it's here too. So that address is uh, here. So I can actually access that account from both uh, computers now. So I definitely recommend backing up all your Ethereum wallets. Of course, none of mine have any ether in it now but I am mining and hopefully one day we'll have some ether in there or especially if you're purchasing uh, ether, you're gonna make sure you're gonna want to make sure you back up your, um, your wallet. Uh, even if you're just mining, if you did lose access to your wallet, your mining is attached to a certain wallet address. So if I have lost access to my wallet that I'm using to mine, I would no longer have access to that the to the the, the ether that I had mined, uh, which is I have my payout set to one uh, by default, and I haven't changed that, so I have to hit one, which I'm still quite a ways away from hitting. Um, but with that in mind, you know, if I did lose access to my wallet, all the progress that I had done it would be completely lost. I'd have to restart mining with a new wallet. Uh, I would be even farther away from hitting my payout uh, number on my uh, from the pool. So it is very important to back up your account so you can have those in case an unexpected failure. I recommend backing up all the data, of course, uh, because if you try to send it to somebody, somebody to recover data from a you know crashed hard drive, it is going to be very expensive and time consuming at the same time. All right, so that pretty much wraps up today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video enjoyable or helpful. And if you did, hit that big like button. Also, consider uh, sharing this on your favorite social media sites to help this video help other people, as well as kind of increasing the outreach of the Thought Provoking Tech channel. Uh, if you are not already an existing subscriber and you have made it this far in the video, consider hitting that big subscribe button and also hitting the bell icon next to it so you'll be notified as I release new videos. I do release about one video a week. Sometimes I get two out. Uh, like in the previous period though, I got zero out because I was in the process of moving as you can kind of see around me. I have a lot of work to do in kind of my little geek space. The single light is actually kind of behind me. Uh, so I'm kind of in shadow and I look very red right now. Uh, looking into the OBS screen. Um, so I will be setting uh, kind of a couple different cameras uh, as well as improving the lighting and stuff in my little geek cave uh, and then getting back on schedule and getting some uh, videos out to you guys. So once again, guys, thanks for watching and until next time, Zach out.